Hello everybody, welcome to my eBay room, my new garage area. I have a haul video to share with you guys. I'm all sweaty and gross, so we're gonna turn the camera around and see what I found. All right, so I'm sorry if you hear the fan in the background. There's no air out here yet, but we're gonna get there. Um, these are, this is some collective things that I've got from, it was, let's see, Salvation Army. Um, there's no Salvation Army where I am, so we had to go back to our old area like twice this month, and I got to stop in. They didn't have much, but I stopped there. St. Vincent, and is there something from somewhere else? Um, I think that's it here, other than my little list pet shops that I was looking through. Oh, this is kind of random. This is from where my antique booth was it was like in a half off booth so i got these christmas trees i think i forgot in a haul video to share those with you guys but i mean they're not like true vintage but they're made to look that way they're the expensive ones from like hobby lobby so that's pretty cool um one of the things at saint vincent was this little black cauldron uh toy Bianca was saying that Little Black Cauldron or The Black Cauldron or something like that was pulled off the shelves or something. I don't know. But this sold for 99 cents. I'm probably going to give it back to her, but I bought it because that was her find when we were at the store. Now, if you find, um, was it the, the VHS or something like that, then you have something. But um, the little toy, this wasn't worth anything. Um, Aaron found this, the St. Petersburg Doll Club for $2.99. It's marked 1950 to 1975. I had no idea there was like a doll club or anything there. So, and I can't really find anything like online, like memorabilia. So I don't have a comparable price for this. So this is a whole other story. This is actually from a different haul video or from, yeah, a different video. <laughs> Bianca was looking at them. And then I was excited to find this guy because I have a big one that I'd be scared to ship because of the horns. And I'll have to go back and look at the video because I could have swore I got this one because he wasn't broken and the other one there was broken. But he was small enough to ship. And I'm like, crap, do I break the other one off and make it look similar? I don't know. I mean, like to, for me to keep it because I do have a bigger one, a bigger version of this. I was kind of bummed. And it happened to be, was that on a half off day or the color or something like that? I don't remember. It might not have been. I Obviously, I don't get to go like I did. Then we have this um, Sasaki Crystal Japan. Now, there is um, this brand, the Sasaki Crystal. There was an artist that did a, um, like a collab with them. His pieces, I can't remember the name now. You'd have to look that up. Or maybe I can, by the time I edit this video, put it in there. Um, I can see his signature in my head, but I can't remember his name. But his pieces that they, he did in collab with this company sell really, really well. And I, I don't see this little geometric uh, vase or anything on there. So I'm curious to see what that will bring on on eBay. So $1.99, I think it was. Um, even if you got like $20, I think that's, a, you know, a good flip right there. Then at St. Vincent, um, I found all of this. This is a while ago. This is Sonoma Flow Blue. Now, some of them have like the, you see like the hard water stain or markings or stains or whatever you call them. I think I might go, like that one doesn't have it. Um, with uh, some of the barkeeper's friend and get that off. I'm sure that will come off. But it came in a three-piece set. So it comes like this with the lid, the mug, and the little bowl. So I got all those. And I want to say they were $2 a set. So you got the cup, the lid, and the bowl for $2 a piece. Then this is just so fun. This is so interesting. It's a piece of, you know, studio pottery. It's signed. It looks like it says Mary or Meg or something like that. I don't know. I just think it's really cool, this little guy creeping out the side. I put this on eBay. I haven't seen really anything like it. 
So I did put, you know, like a higher price point, but that's um, for a lot of the people that either collect pottery or serious into collecting mugs because it's just so interesting, you know, and this, it's probably one of a kind since it's a studio piece. So I thought it was really cool. It has a really fun blue glaze. And then we have this enameled cat plate that I have online. This one is Bavano of Cheshire, Connecticut, I think. Handcrafted. They make, or this company, makes all kinds of different things. Um, the plates do okay. I've not seen the cat yet. So I have it listed at comparable prices to some other plates that have sold. That's the best that I could do. So we'll see. It's To me, the colors are super, like, I don't know. Like, they just remind me, like, very mod, very mid-century, like, maybe 60s. So, all right. The next thing was, I don't think, I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys. It is, it says Stuart right there. I brought a barrel of oh, kindness back, scotch whiskey, and the little thing came off, so obviously they, they drank it. But it's a little milk glass piece, and it looks like a little Christmas scene right there. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of it's so tiny and interesting. So I got that from whatever thrift store. And then these aren't your regular Santa face mugs, but you can tell these are probably mm, early 2000s, late 90s. You could just tell. And these were 50 cents each. So I thought those were cool. It's the same idea. The paint is on the outside and it starts to come off as they do. Then I thought these were great. These were in a recent Thrift With Me video. Um, actually, no, they didn't make it into the, the footage. I think I saw these afterwards. Um, but it was with some other ghost things. They're really cute little probably modern maybe I don't know Walmart or something um, but I love I like to do the ghosts and the pumpkins for Halloween and if you can find a witch you don't really find witch stuff so but those I think it was like six for the pair so I have those listed in my eBay store and then I thought these shaped candles were really interesting so I got the whole bag for a dollar I've not if you guys know what um, that shape is called let me know I don't know like a pear shaped candle or brown bottom I'm not sure but I thought they were real cool and I found some bigger ones um, yeah they're a bit bigger like fat bottom candles round bottom candles for what it say 30 cents each let's see what else did I find over here oh this is um, a little random thing that when me and Bianca went to the thrift store. This was 50 cents, I believe. 1989 Columbia Pictures. Oh, thank you, buddy. It was there? Yeah. Sweet. Look what he got me. Hey, make sure I get my change back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We live really close to a little dollar store so they can walk over there. But anyways, there is another one with that, you know, the green Slimer guy. Isn't that his name? Slimer or something? Um, that sold for like $25. So let's hope this one brings about as much as that one. But this, did I say it was 50 cents? It was 50 cents. <sighs> All right, I had to pause that and collect my change from the children's. Um, okay, where was I? I think I was on this glass. Oh, I see, M&M candy bar. So one of the trips to the Salvation Army before we moved, I think this was the only thing I found, me and Gabriel. Now, it's a, it says like a little Fasco truck in there, but it's like Fire Apparatus Service Co. And it's a Lucite tabletop. It's called like tabletop, it's called desktop um, lighter. These are awesome. These are really cool. Uh, I've sold quite a few of these big tabletop lighters. I don't have a comparable thing for it, like a comparable item. Um, so I just kind of winged it. I just put it up there because you know what? You can go down in your price, but you can't go back up. So I put it up there and if it doesn't go, then it'll go on sale in a little while. I got this pretty little, don't mind my mess in the background, you know, moving this little owl, owl. That is not an owl, Alex. That is a dolphin. Um, it says Matt's, what does it say? John is, I'm trying to read through here. Min minerals. Oh my God, I can't, 
oh my goodness sorry I can't read that little thing but anyways it has a little signature on it it does have some flea bites there you see those those are real flea bites are a thing right there and it, it was 30 cents so there are people that like paperweights and stuff and collect dolphins and collect, you know, signed art glass. So hey, if you turned 30 cents into even $8, it's a, it's a profit. And then Aaron picked this guy right here. I thought he was kind of interesting. Probably going to throw him up on eBay. He might be like a, not, I was going to say Tuesday morning, but you know, like Pier 1 or something like that but for two bucks I think it's worth a shot so we got that then you might you guys might have seen this I was thinking that it's amber glass but it's actually a red colored glass and it's like it's Kanawaha glass um a double spouted jug here yes Bianca he brought up three candies so would you like this one yes please why did he get three candies because he wanted two candies he wanted the, I told him to get him one. I, I so anyway, sorry, you gotta pause that again. Um, I took a chance, bought this for about $10. Um, similar ones, actually one, I think it had a ship on it, sold for about 50, but it was like the honey, you know, that golden colored amber. This one is a little more interesting to me in color anyway. So I threw it up on eBay and we'll see how that goes. And then we got this guy. This is a little version of those little duck hooks that go on the wall. This is much smaller than ones that I've had and sold in the past, but it still has its original eyes. It has some cold paint there. It does have some crazing, but that's okay. Um, I bought it and I didn't look up any comparables on it because I've bought and sold the other ones before. So I'm sure this could probably fetch about between maybe 15 and $20. Let's see. This went somewhere else. Okay, so then I have all these really cool little cat figurines here. I got that guy. I have these listed as well. I got this one. I got these from St. Vincent. We were going to keep these and put them in our little side room, but... Oh, the cats go out there a lot because it's like a little sunroom and I just think that they would break them so I'm going to pass them on and let someone else like collect them and then we got this guy right here they're all so cute so got those there and then I picked up this bag they saved it for me at the St. Vincent and I know some of you guys think that that's not cool but I don't make them save stuff the manager puts things aside that she knows that I like because regardless if it's for me or if it's for someone else um it's gonna sell you know what I mean someone's gonna buy it so anyways I got this bag for three dollars and these are like the, my favorite kinds of ornaments. I love them. And then they had also saved these for me. So I went ahead and got these Oops. as well. I got this little, almost like a Ferris wheel of, not Ferris wheel. What are those called? You know, merry-go-round, a merry-go-round of, of um, little angels. And then this one is a 1980s Hallmark. I wouldn't have normally have gotten this one. It's 1984, I think. But, like I said, they're saving stuff for me, so I figure I'll just, you know, do them a solid. It goes to a good cause. We got the Santa Claus car. No, S. Claus and Co. I like that. I like that a lot. And we got this guy. Little, oh gosh, the hair is blowing on my face and it's tickling my face. Little Santa Claus or a little elfy guy sitting on a drum. And then this looks like something broke off of it, but I got this anyway. All right, if you guys have bought from me before, every once in a while, I'll stick these little wooden ornaments in as free gifts. Um, so, you, I mean, you guys, most like most of you should know that if you bought from me that um, sometimes you'll get one of these. If I have them to give, I do. So that is it from the mashup of St. Vincent and... Um, let's see, Salvation Army, because I don't get to go now like I used to. I, I could check every day before. Now I can't. 
we just go back once or twice a month for like doctor's appointments and stuff so kind of is what it is but I hope you guys enjoyed the things that I found and don't forget to be sure and um come on over stop over at my live sales that I have on Sunday they're at 1 p.m eastern and then what else is going on you can stop over you can click the links to my ebay if you want to see things that are listed there if you're interested in things that you see in my videos my haul videos or whatever just shoot me an email and we could talk about it and then um what else is there anything else i think that was it i thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know down below what was your favorite item from this haul video and what might you have left behind i always like to hear those things i'll talk to you guys again soon bye